Hello, and welcome back to Operations Management. In our last session, we talked about Little's Law, which is a very powerful equation that shows the relationship between inventory, throughput rate, and flow time. In this session, we're going to take a very simple problem and work through it using Little's Law. Here we have a simple flow diagram. This is what's going on inside the process of a delicatessen. People walk into the deli, they wait online, they get served at the counter, and then they leave. So you can see, first of all, we have an arrow showing an input into the process, and we have people coming into the deli at a rate of 30 per hour. Then they wait online. On average, there are eight people waiting. That's represented by the triangle. Triangles represent buffers, and buffers represent units that are waiting. Following that, we have a rectangle, and that's the activity of somebody being served at the deli counter. And on average, that takes five minutes. So if we bring it all together, we have on average 30 people per hour coming into the deli. On average, you'll find eight people waiting online. And then as they get up to the deli counter, on average, it takes five minutes for them to get through the deli counter and then they leave. Remember, I'm using averages here. That way we're not dealing with individual fluctuations. And we're also going to look at this as a stable process, which means the input rate is going to equal our output rate. 30 people coming in per hour, 30 people per hour are leaving. So the first thing we want to double check is what is our flow unit? Now, if you said people, you would be correct. By a flow unit, this is what we are studying as part of the process. And you can see that we're referring to people in the buffer. We're referring to people as part of the throughput rate. So what can we do? With Little's Law, we're going to be able to answer these kinds of questions. How long does the average person wait online? On average, how many people are being served at once? How many people are in the deli? How long does it take to get through the whole line and service? We'll be able to answer these questions with Little's Law. So our first step is to take a look at what kind of information we have. If you recall from the problem, we were given information at the waiting line that there were eight people there. We we're also told that the throughput rate is 30 people per hour. At the activity of being served at the deli counter, it takes five minutes on average. But we've got a problem here because the throughput rate is in units per hour, but our flow time is in minutes. We have to make sure that our flow time and our throughput rate have the same time units. If they don't have the same time units, our equation will not work. So what we're going to do is we're going to add another column. And in this column, instead of just having the throughput rate in units per hour, we're going to convert that over to units per minute. So 30 per hour is the equivalent of saying a half a person per minute. So now we have all of our units matching. We have people and we have time in minutes. So now we're going to use Little's Law. We're going to use it in two different versions of the same equation. The way we first introduced it was I equals R times T. Inventory equals throughput rate times flow time. And we can use that to calculate the inventory. As long as we have a throughput rate and we have a flow time, we can figure out how many items are there. Another way of using Little's Law is to calculate the flow time if you already have the inventory and the throughput rate. So here we have T equals I divided by R. When we look at our table now, we can see that we have I and we have R for the waiting line, the buffer and we're going to calculate T. So we're going to use the equation I divided by R. For the activity of being served, we have the throughput rate and we have the flow time. So we're going to use the equation in the form of R times T to calculate the inventory. So let's see how that comes out. So for the inventory, being eight and our throughput rate being 0.5, we ended up realizing that the flow time is 16 minutes. 
For the activity of being served, the inventory is two and a half. Then we can total everything up. On average, there's 10 and a half people in the deli. And on average, it's taking 21 minutes to get through the whole line and being served. So getting back to our original questions, now we have those answers. How long on average does the person wait online? 16 minutes. How many people are being served at once? Two and a half. On average, how many people are in the deli? 10 and a half. And how long does it take to get through? 21 minutes. Don't be afraid when you see half of people or a quarter of people or things like that in your answers. Remember, we're working with averages and averages means you're not going to get whole numbers all the time. So you can see the power of Little's Law and even with this simple problem, you can see how this could relate to more complicated problems. And we'll be going through more complicated problems and different ways of using Little's Law in our next session. I'll see you then.